For me, shorthand is at its very best when we're pushing the technical boundaries of storytelling for the web and working on unique features that enable you to create better stories much faster. That's the heart and soul of this company. So there is something else I'd like to show you today. We've noticed customers using tools like Photoshop to generate depth in still images and then to animate those images to create a video. It does provide another level of depth to immersive stories, but you know what? It's a real time suck. To create this kind of thing is a painstaking process. You've got to outline the objects in the image, create layers, and then backfill the holes you leave behind in the image as you move the objects. And then you render, all, render it all into a video. It takes an age and somebody skilled in using an image editing tool like Photoshop to do this. Finally, you have to import that video into shorthand. So now you've got this immersive video in shorthand, but the headline text is just graphics embedded in the video, which is not great for SEO. Can you see where I'm going with this? What if you could create that immersive experience directly inside shorthand? And what if you could do that just by uploading an image? What if, huh? Wouldn't that be great? Well, I'm happy to report that it's not a what if. It's real. We've done some groundbreaking work in computer vision and image processing to make this happen. And I'm going to show you just how amazing and dead simple this feature really is. First, let's upload an image into a title section. Now, we're going to choose animated image. The shorthand elves start working their magic uh, in the background right away. Now, it can take up to a minute to generate, generally under 30 seconds, but up to a minute. It kind of depends on the complexity of the image. And there we go. So far, you don't notice anything different, but let's scroll and look at that. That's cool, right? But it gets better. You can position your text in just the right layer of the scene to provide an even more impressive, immersive experience to your audience. Let's try that. Let's, let's have the text behind the singer. Not quite right. OK, let, let's move it forward in the scene just a little bit. OK, I, I like that. Um, see, see how the, the text scrolls behind uh, part of the image and in front of the rest of it? And yes, this feature is just as delicious on mobiles and tablets too. If we scroll down a bit further, you can see that it works with text over media sections in half height and at full height. 